Folks, what the crap's going on? Heir of Cathay here. Yes, your grand salt dragon, and we're going to continue the efforts to spread a fine layer of Cathay and salt all across the Warhammer world. Um, since we last left off, I think I took like one extra turn and auto-resolved an easy battle here. The vampires retreated from their settlement at Shatternstone Isle. I actually attacked this stack here, and this this was a beautiful CA please moment. You are going to be depressed that the camera wasn't on recording my my saltiness as it happened, but I attacked the vampire army here, so I moved both my armies to this point. Here, I'll use the telestration. No, wait, no, it's a ping. Here's the telestration tool. There we go. I'll, I'll draw a picture. Vampire army here. Um, now let me draw. We can't do telestration tools. Oh, there we go. Apparently, it just won't let me draw. So the vampire army is like right here on the settlement. Sorry, it's not gonna let me draw there anyway. And I move my two armies from this direction, and I, I meet up with the vampire armies, and they retreat through my zone of control back up to here, farther than I can move to catch them. So, a, a very fine CA please moment. I can go get them if I leave this army alone, which probably is safe but if we've learned anything over the bunch of turns it's that it, there's always more armies right outside your field of vision so i'm not going to take that risk because it is too much of a risk uh, i did take some time to fuse some items like you all mentioned and this mostly resulted in me getting better equipment for xiao ming though i did equip a few other folks with a little bit better equipment i'm still kind of waiting to see what the dwarves and the vampires do next up here near scrap towers I spent a big chunk of my money building all of the elite tier buildings across my uh, my territory. I've got another army training, um, Chaos. We were moving against them um, out by Red Fortress. We're probably not going to get there in time to save the Red Fortress, which really kind of stinks. I wonder if I can cancel these buildings. I think I can. Yeah, <laughs> it'll give me my money back. Awesome. Now, the downside is, is I lose the construction progress if I actually save the settlement, but I don't think the settlement's going to be saved, so I'm going to do that and take my money back. Um, there's unassigned skill points on a lot of characters, but most of these characters, they can't really be assigned. So let's go ahead and end ourselves a turn, get our movement points fresh, continue the fight against the vampires, and once we get them killed, we can focus against our Kaon, and pretty much, if we finish the vampires and kill our Kaon, we've got ourselves a completed long campaign and that is an objective that I don't get to very often. I think a lot of players in Total War don't, especially when you have these end-game apocalypses like these. That I, I must say though, the end-game scenarios, as crazy as they are, are kind of fun. You have the option to turn them off. I knew they were going to do that. Vampire just going to go behind me to a settlement that I couldn't guard. Um, why is it that I don't get reinforcements here in the northern provinces? What is this army? Shatternstone Isle. Caravan of Blue is attacking. Okay, they're attacking, but I had a... Maybe they sieged my settlement with one of these armies? Yeah, they must have sieged my settlement with one of the armies and then attacked me with the other one. That could explain why I'm not getting re reinforcements here. Um, let's go ahead and kill these guys, though. It shouldn't be that hard. All right. The battle has started. I didn't want to let the vampires just gather all their reinforcements for free. So I did deploy my cannons up front in an attempt to uh, get the vampires' attention. They've got about a minute before reinforcements arrive. That is plenty of time for my rocket batteries to cause some extensive damage to their, their infantry line. I'm actually going to push up just a hair more. This may put me inside a range of their catapults. I'm going to actually move forward with some of my heroes and really try and pick up their attention. Okay. We're about to get their attention here. Something tells me they're not going to sit here and hold their ground for very long against this type of bombardment. Where'd my leader get to? Are we getting spirit leech? That's pretty expected. AI is kind of playing dodgy with my artillery. They'll do that some now. But regardless, it's not in their interest to... Wouldn't have expected their Plague Claws to be landing hits like that. Elemental 
I'm gonna drop a. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go. I go where I win. Okay. We've got their attention. We've got their attention. Offspring of dragons. Okay, let's infinite up pride. Their position Dragon just a little bit. Naturally. Oh gosh, we got caught. I don't have a speed debuff. Defenders of Cafe! Jade Warriors! Okay, we're gonna get away. Alright. We're gonna get away. Alright, so we got the attention of their lord. Some rather unwanted attention, I must say, at the moment. But, um, he's going to be dead here in a pretty big hurry. Of course they're gonna let him die bomb down. He only needed one solid volley to be dead. Um, let's see. Crane guns. Get on that mortis engine. We got bogeys inbound. From the starboard. Jade warriors. Guided by ancestors. Order and balance. Let's clog that up. Alright, they're going ham for my rocket battery, which is really not great. Their lord managed to pull out of that fight alive somehow. Which is irritating to say the least. And they've now got some units range of me, so we're in a bit of an awkward position here as we fight surrounded. Um, but we certainly got their attention. We may not be excited that we got their attention. What happened to my... Did you over here, please, against the Hex Wraiths? Let's see... My dear Metallurgist. Let's drop some pain there, shall we? I am not liking that stupid Plague Clock catapult right now. I'm in a fight with a bunch of fell bats. And then what's going on over here? I lost a unit. Um, I need to go get that Plague Clock catapult, but I'm finishing off these stupid bats first. Okay, the bats are gone. Let's go slap that group of catapults. Okay. Rocket battery. Rocket battery. Go after the skeleton Wind warriors. We're getting a little bit overwhelmed at the moment. Wind and fire. We're gonna need to do some uh, major cleanup work here. Hear my I don't Let have as much magic as I normally would in one of these fights. They just happen to have some units back here to help protect their plague the claws, unfortunately. I don't know whether they'll try to. Let's get back in the air real quick and then we'll finish that. Okay, we burned up some of their units on this flank. Are there any other key As vampire units that we can target out with our crossbowmen? Let's look for... Alright, the mutant rat ogre is basically gone. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. We got a Constellation of the Dragon. We cannot overcast it, unfortunately. We can do a heal, though. Let's throw a heal up here. Alright, Plague Clock Catapult's already wreaking havoc again. Let's move our rocket batteries back just a hair. We're having trouble picking up targets with the crane guns. And our crossbows. Let's go for those Crypt Horrors. All right, I got another good charge into the back of those Plague Claws. That should shut them down once and for all. They got a lot of really solid hits out of those Plague Claws, though. That is going to be more than a little problematic for me. But the vampires have left themselves wide open to a Constellation of the Dragon right here. Basically, they're just using huge numbers. Oh, boy, we flattened them right there. Absolutely Warriors flattened them. The In fact, that, that won the battle. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a constellation of the dragon that was. Woo. That was a pretty epic finish there, folks. Awesome. Um, well, I, it's not much replenishment, but I'm going to take it because we're 
kind of on the cusp of enemy territory. Once again, I have to be extremely disappointed in the Dead Shall Rise Again mechanic. We flatten their armies decisively and force them to crumble, and they're going to get their lord back. This Grave Guard, they only lost one of these Grave Guard. One zombie, this Rat Ogre. Like, I'm, this is disgusting. Like, CA needs to fix this. They, this is broken. They, they shouldn't get back more than, like, 25% of their, like, units... Not, not like, 25% of each unit card. Like, 25% of the units. I mean, that's the risk of playing vampires, right? You don't rout, but if you lose your leaders and crumble, then it's a bad victory. But see, you also get Raise the Dead, not to be confused with The Dead Shall Rise Again. Um, and, and I like Raise the Dead. I think that's a cool feature that should be there for the vampires. I don't want that tweaked. Oh, boy, look here. It isn't chaos showing up on our doorstep, and it says it's going to kill off a couple of my... My key units here. They have two minutes till their reinforcements. Which means technically I could begin cutting them to the ground. They do have a Lord of Change. That's going to cause a lot of damage because of the Searing Doom. Anytime the AI gets a hold of Searing Doom or Warp Lightning, they will hurt you. They will hurt you significantly. They've also got the Summoners of Rage. I'd rather fight these armies one off. But I feel like we do have the capability to defeat them. And they've got multiple Searing Dooms, though. Searing, like I said, Searing Doom is a real issue in the hands of the AI because it causes tremendous damage for them. I don't know. Let's fight it. All right, so Chaos did exactly what I didn't want them to, which was to deploy way the heck back in their deployment zone and just camp for their reinforcements. So I'm going to go try and convince them that's a bad idea <laughs> it's actually a very good idea but um, I should be able to make them hurt some I'm gonna send my long riders up just in case we need an escort uh, yeah I'm really irritated by this the AI does this and I didn't expect them to do it to this extent where they went all the way back behind their deployment zone I did kill some of their chaos spawn there though that was good um, I'm going to move up and what drop a final transmutation right in the middle of their army. And then with Mia Ying, uh, I'm going to transform. I can hit them with the Talons of the Night if they get bottled up. So I'm going to at least make them pay for this. Let's go ahead and start pulling in our Winds of Magic as quick as we can. Getting one power every two seconds at the moment with that buff. Okay. If I can, I'm out of range to drop it on the Lord, which is what I want. I'm just out of range. Like, I mean, just a hair out of range. Oh, no, it's casting it. Okay, go, 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 go. Go, 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 run. All right, my cannons can provide some cover fire now. Oh yeah, that was a brutal final transmutation. They paid a big price for camping. And I've now got the attention of several of their units. So this is good. This is what we wanted. I don't necessarily want the rockets firing yet, though. Cease that. Alright, the AI wants to go back for another camp. Let's go hold their attention. That was worth it, though, man. We got some major damage done there. If we can keep the attention of this knight with lances, I'll take it. Our cannon ought to do tremendous damage to those knights with lances, assuming that we can land a hit. There it goes. That was not near as much damage as it should have been. Alright, they've got a hell cannon out already. They should be able to outrange their hell cannon. It was on that. How are those knights with lances, like taking those cannon shots headlong like that. I've never seen a cavalry unit take so many cannonballs to the face and then just keep on going like nothing was wrong. My crossbows should melt them then, if nothing else. Oh, they didn't even start wavering until they were down to almost zero health. Okay, got them routed. 
Wow, that unit felt like it had a ward saved or something on it. I don't know what was going on, but that was absolutely wild. The Knights of Immolation are on the way now. I'm pumping some shots into the weird spawn. The unfortunate thing is now I've got to take on Order and balance. The celestial basically all of these reinforcements for chaos here. Is required. I'm going to use this terrain to Set my, my dragons. advantage. Let's, let's see. Yeah, okay, we're targeting the Knights of Immolation. Need to... Move my artillery pieces back just inside of here. Move as wind. I'm gonna actually go ahead and just take the Knights of Immolation in melee. They've got their Lord of Change back there that I need to put some shots on. Oh, easy, 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 crossbows, easy, easy. Yep, there's that bombardment I told you about. It's gonna already come in and do a lot of damage. I'm gonna kill this guy. Did so much friendly fire there with my. Oh! Boy, he felt that. He felt that. Alright, the wind. There, the Lord of Change is gone, which is good because he already halfway deleted one of my artillery units. Stingy turd. Alright. That's some good. I'm not interested in Warhounds as a target, but I do need my cannon to get in position and turn around and take out that Hell Cannon, because it just took a massive chunk out of my crossbows. i got to move my crossbows back out of range. Alright, Cannon, you've got a priority target, please. I'm going to keep dumping on those Forsaken. Okay, good stuff. Is Billy a Thundergruff? No, it's just Dragon some regular off. giant. Alright, I think I got that Hell Cannon off of my case for at least a moment. My own cannon is firing away. Hasn't destroyed their artillery piece. It's a soul of damnation too, I think. So it's not just any Hell Cannon. I uh, left a little bit of an opening there. I think we're going to close it just in the nick of time. Let's kill their lord here. We got another bunch of stupid magic coming down. They are going full warhound for the back of my army here. I need you guys to wipe out their leader, please. Is the soul of damnation? Yep, yeah, okay, soul of damnation's down. Summoners of rage are going to be coming up on me. I don't know if I can get any more rocket batteries off safe. Let's take these guys out. Okay, let's just kind of get things configured here. I need my crossbows back into a little bit safer of a position. I'm going to come fill this gap with my elephant. And my green, er, the sentinel is blocked out over here. Let's buy the uh, sentinel some help. I'm gonna drop that spell and then transform with Miao Ying. Hoping that'll get my Sentinel out of there. Get him out. Need a regrowth. Get him out. Come on, come on. Out of that fight. Alright, regrowth is going down. Okay, now this guy's caught. Crap. Get out of there. Uh, mow down that giant. Yes, I love how much damage the crossbows do. It is truly marvelous. How did they break through my line here, by the way? Especially with a pink horror? Maybe they came in from the side? Um, yeah, Ying, I have need of your healing services here. Protect that unit for a minute. Okay. Never holding the flank. Our elephant's getting chewed up, though. Let's see if we can kill those summoners of rage. Okay. I'm gonna have to keep Miao Ying 
I'm transformed. We are actually out of magic, so I am going to actually transform her as soon as I get the opportunity to do so. Okay, that worked out well. Let's come back up here and try and lay some death down up front. Uh, is that the Summoner's of Rage? I believe it is. Um, let's see, Green Guardian ended up fighting these Dragon Ogres, which is not an ideal target for them. We did get those pink horrors. Let's take care of those annoying horsemen. Alright, got rid of the horses. Let's get rid of the Chaos Spawn. Alright, we're about to tank the rest of this up. Throw a heal there just to help my guys hang in there for this the last moment. And then I think as soon as we get rid of the chaos spawn that this battle is officially over. Let's get rid of Bilius. We have a good opportunity to, to crush him here. I'm gonna chase those guys down. Alright, so I'm gonna take down Bilius Thundergruff there. All right, just the last couple of spawn to mow down, and uh, not a beautiful battle on our part, but definitely a, a showing of the potential strength of Miao Ying's army. Try and get my rocket battery fired up and kill a few of these guys on the way out. Our cannon at least got a lot of work done before it was all said and done. Come on, just one spawn left. There, and then my... Dragon Guard have two left to finish off over here. It's okay, I'll give my rockets a couple of shots into their troops as they retreat. There we go. All right, sweet victory. Well, definitely paid off there to have the ability to heal. Um, I like being able to transform Miao Ying back and forth there as needed. Uh, so that was definitely handy. And we ended up gaining a pretty solid victory there, one against two armies. Most of the apocalypse. Where is this at? The re okay, the Red Fortress. Um, yeah, we knew we were going to lose the Red Fortress. I, I don't think this can be stopped. They're going to break through the gates. We're going to have to try and stop an Elite Keeper of Secrets. They've got Spirit Leech. Can we stop this? I mean, they're going to bum rush the wall. Well, what does this map look like, actually? Sometimes these maps are different. I don't think this is winnable. Not with the magic we've been given and having them. Yeah, they're going to spread out pretty wide now. I, I'm not going to mess with this. This stinks. Possibly winnable. Probably not winnable. We'll just go retake it and kill all these chaos forces over here. We have the extra troops to spare at the moment, so it's no big deal. Plus, we got all our money back there that we were spending. The only downside is, is that it takes a really long time to build that fortress up. And so when it goes down, obviously, it's frustrating. All right, caught these losers for a second butt kicking. So Mia Ying doing her job nicely, keeping the enemy from being able to sneak in through the ogre passes here, because we know we can't rely on <laughs> the uh, the ogres to prevent it. So good victories there from Mia Ying. Her armies will be healing. We're going to go make the enemies sorry for their attack on the Red Fortress. I think uh, these sure armies are probably just going to run away from us. Wherever so I'm going to go ahead and stay in the encamp sure. stance and basically try and force all these armies back or force them to fight me. Servants of ignorance. We'll see whether we can kind of cut them off and trap them in here. Is this a character that merit. I can actually level up? It is. Looks like we've got the final transmutation all settled up. Warhorse metal shifting, glittering robe, specialist. Yeah, I mean, uh, let's do this enhanced metallurgy. That can be handy if we need a little bit of extra AP damage here or there. Okay, this army is recruiting nicely. Almost up to full strength here. Uh, we need some longbow riders, probably. I can, you always want a little bit of mobility. Um, and I think the longbow riders would be the best bet since we don't have a, a lord who's going to be. I mean, he could be in the air, but he'd be on a, a balloon, so it's not like that really counts. So let's go ahead and grab the Longmer Riders. It's going to be a while to finish that replenishment, but 
or sorry, that training. Uh, we went back to Yin too. We have one turn. We're gonna finish some Yang tech, and then five more turns. We're gonna finish some more Yang tech. Um, so I think that. Let's go ahead and leave it here for now. That, that'll be plus three yang. Um, let's go ahead and balance it out. I can put a building in here to balance it. We're about to finish one yang, which means we need another yang. Um, this building's kind of useless, so we'll just go for a bit of extra income. Yeah, these other ones aren't going to really do the trick, so let's take care of that. And now we can take a the look at these armies. Our little ambush here did red. lure Gorst closer. So he's likely to just take off running at this point. They cannot live. <laughs> he's like, please, not air. Please, not the war elephants. Yeah, he's just gonna run off like a stubby little coward he is. Okay, so the vampires are running law forces. The dwarves are trying to get resurgent here. One more turn, and I get all this army replenished. Three more turns till that one's the totally ready to go, expands. and then we are missing a character here that's healing, and then we're also replenishing. So, a few turns before those armies are back up to full strength. The vampires did take this settlement, which is allowing them to replenish. That is pretty darn irritating, if I'm being honest. I'm going to take this army and go ahead and move under the ambush stance, and that's I'll get ready to go retake Shattered Stone Bay. Or actually, they didn't take it. They just sacked it with a bunch of morons. That's probably what changed my balance some right there as well. Iron Dragon. Um, I need to... Okay, what direction do we want to go? So the vampires Instance. got a stupid fleet right here. The Desert Alchemist. Just need to start killing these guys. No. The more the merrier. All right, so we're gonna get rid of this stack. The, the auto resolve was uh, honestly kind of unfair to us. We shouldn't have lost that many. We did get rid of their troops. I see its potential. And then this army has almost no garrison, so I'm gonna just keep moving these two armies together. The vampires. Um, Lord. are going to keep Lord. trying to take Shattered Stone Isle. I don't know which one I'm going to have to go for first. It's going to be a bit of a kind of a weird situation oh, to be in because they're just going to keep respawning their armies after every turn and trying to come in behind me again. And really all we're doing is just kind of holding this front because we got to finish the vampires with these armies, but uh, they're not going to last much longer. They're down to some of their last few stacks and we've kind of got them pinned into a corner in terms of uh, settlements. They are down to, I think, three settlements, and none of them probably built up too well, though this one is better than I thought. What can they recruit? See, they technically can't recruit anything from there. They don't even have recruiting buildings. I think they can get hex wraiths. They might just be doing a raise the dead, and if there's big corpse piles around, then Wind that is shape. totally feasible for them to be doing a ton of raise the dead and making life rather miserable for me. So, Garrison Lord not moved, and we do not need to move with this Garrison Lord. We could just get some skill points by going out and attacking the Dragon's Crossroad. I demand their death. Interesting. There's a green skin revolt going on up there against Chaos. Fight in perfect harmony. Just raise their self. I will be obeyed. That'll just not leave anything for chaos to operate from right binary. there. And Power it'll give me some skill points. So it was kind of a twofold mission there. Um, let's go ahead and work on Quartermaster for in case we have to stay out of the gate. We've got a skill point Celestial here. Ancestors. And none of these are super important, but we'll finish them. Got a skill point here that's relevant. Um, astute General. Income from all buildings, rank plus root unit gain. Will of the Dragons gives leadership plus four to everybody. Kind of got these ones here. 
this one will be handy to start with. Um, we need we need a bunch of things with this character. Unyielding is going to be really important because otherwise their troops are going to be really subpar in combat, and we don't want that in case we end up having to rely on them. The Casandora. Okay. Uh, what other unassigned yeah, skill points do we have? Let's go into one of our characters. Use this little bar because it's easier to tell. Okay, we can't put him on him unless he hit level 50, which he may have here. Nope. Still at 47, so there's nothing else to do there until he gets to 50, and then I think we can put the last point in Mentor. Okay. We need to finish... The uh, Talons of the Night, and then Earthing, and then Arcane Conduit. A gift from my ancestors. Let's head back in here one more time. Maybe capped out on what we can do here. Yep. Right, we got a couple more characters we can do some stuff to here. Okay, no, sorry. Uh, yeah, this is one of the ones we should be able to, really? Level 37? And it's capped out? Reading that right? 37 and we can't get another single skill? Yeah, wind Harmony. Oh yeah, never mind. We got the stuff down here. I'm blind. Um, nine. Looks like we did Unyielding. Okay, this is a Caravan Master, and he's probably only getting his stuff through Mentor. However, this is good, because if we ever want our Caravan to survive... Um, we need all of this. We got this. Better scales. Got hidden stores. Attrition from casualties. Caravan ambush chance. Let's just... Maybe we can get a caravan started again one day. We'll never know. Probably not. Um, do we have anybody else? Yes, right here. And let's finish increased mobility. Now we are ready. I'm not worried about repairing the buildings there. Let's end this one. I think we are just about to the end of this episode, but good progress here, in my opinion at least. Um, I haven't grabbed another settlement like I wanted, but we won some important battles. The vampires kind of jumped us in a bit of a stink there, and we pushed them back, dealing them once again heavy losses. And then we have managed to um, push back chaos up in the troll country, or sorry, ogre country, pretty effectively. I guess we could just call it Ma Country up there. <laughs> and uh, we are holding the line against the Dawi uh, with all of our armies, which again, we can refocus as needed after this. Okay, the vampires made their moves and don't seem to have made particularly smart ones. I'd like to take at least one more of their settlements here. Oh, we got rid of the vampire stank here. That means that we can just push forward at this point. Oh, I'm gonna push these guys back. I imagine yet yeah, they're gonna flee out of the way. They may still be in my way. And they are, so we're gonna have to finish them. Alright, so let's auto resolve this, because that's nothing. We shall prevail! Better be nothing. They shall mine. Whoopstone. Man, I think we're gonna be just outside of reinforcement range. Child of the nine. Spill their vile blood. Let's see what the auto resolve says up here. I'd love to take Dreadrock, but if it's gonna rip us off, then we can't do it. Yeah, it's it's totally gonna rip us off. It's like you're totally gonna lose. Okay, well, I'll seed you, and good luck if you want to sally out and attack me, even when I'm damaged like this. So, all right, continue the siege. I demand their death. Desert. If I force march back across here. No time to I waste. could begin healing Where is my love? with Xiao Ming. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we'll do that. I, I think I'm pretty sure that army's safe. There's no other armies on that particular island with them. And they will be right here. So that means that we did end up grabbing... I don't know what happened to that vampire army that was here. We did end up grabbing another settlement um, from the vampires here. Speed and unity. We just cannot lure, lure them out of the mountains. Look at this. Uh, the Dali have this besieged. 
Oh man, that Dawi tight. I hate it. I hate every bit of it. This is going to be a pain in the butt to deal with. These armies are almost fully re-equipped though, and we got our character back here. So let's place her into that army. So that army is going to be back up to full strength. Oh boy. So our Kaon is trying to show up and uh, come after Miao Ying. Not our Kaon, sorry. Uh, Kolak. I can't enter ambush because the ogres can see me, but that's actually stupid. If I come here, the ogres attack the Vale of Titans. There's very little ogres to help me. I don't want them to get through here, but I also don't want to risk, like, Yao Ying's army. I'm pretty sure we can do it because I got heals. Absolutely not. Kolek is going to be ridiculously powerful. There's a stupid metal sorcerer. That's really irritating. They're going to have even more metal crap here. And we got a demon. So two metal sorcerers and the demon. Uh, Summoners of Rage are irritating, of course, too. Didn't we just kill them in the last battle? We did. Funny how, like, all the Chaos Factions can have all of the things. My all these units that we end up killing every time just come right back against us a turn later. Best. I'm hoping that with the reinforcements and stuff here... Now, technically, Colette could just siege these guys Enemies. and then attack Enemies me everywhere. or attack them, kill them. But, you know, they would be damaged some, by the way. I, I think we'll be safe here. I'm going to end our turn. Most likely Kolek's going to attack us there, but I think we can handle him for the time being. Let's go ahead and start this Yang Reflection. For that upkeep drop effort. is going to be potentially really helpful uh, during key times. We can move Erect back to the Dragon Gate. To uh, the Beastmen did not Lord. move out of my path over here, so... Got to hand it to these Beastmen for being quite obeyed. possibly the dumbest creatures in the Warhammer world. Shugan Gun Lord reporting. Power in the blood. Okay, I'll still a be able to enter in a camp the stance after murdering Cafe the beastmen. Them dead. So that's that. Like Alright, so beastmen out of the way. Zero percent replenishment. That's funny because I saw something there, so it doesn't seem like it was zero percent. Allocate ships. As required. Okay, how much farther can we move forward? If any? Not much. Authority. Not much, but we'll move Fred forward, and we're going to keep world. putting some pressure here back on the Red Fortress and make you. these guys pay for having taken it, because I'm safe right now campaigning out here. Those armies are in pretty good shape, and the Chaos armies out here are not, not particularly powerful, at least at the moment. Let's keep that. Master coming, a so tool keep worthy her. of a dragon. We want our Celestial cost to be managed. Ancestors. The more managed our upkeep costs are, the the better we can do at uh, ensuring that we can field my high as station. many armies as possible. And you all have seen why so many armies is necessary. Anyway, um, I think that's probably going to be it uh, for this turn. I'm actually going to leave that settlement alone calling. down here. The dwarves might go for it. Honestly, we can just use it as bait to bait in dwarf armies. Uh, I will see you all on the next episode. Do hope you enjoyed it. Air of Carthage, signing out for now.